Well, many Americans appear to be overextending themselves financially. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York says credit card and auto loan delinquencies have reached their highest levels in more than a decade. In general, U.S. household debt hit a staggering new high of $17.5 trillion. On that note, here's a question. Do you think financial literacy should be required to be taught in New York schools? We're talking subjects like money management, budgeting, taxes, and investing. According to annuity.org, three quarters of American teenagers say they lack confidence in their knowledge of personal finance. The same amount say they learned about personal finance from their parents, and about half learned it from school. More than 40% actually say social media is the source. That's why State Education Commissioner Dr. Betty Rosa and State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli issued a joint op-ed calling for a required financial literacy curriculum. They pointed to the success of a finance course offered right here in Western New York in the Akron School District. Tonight, our senior reporter Eileen Buckley is speaking with Akron students enrolled in personal finance about how it's helping them. I think it's one of the most important topics that um, students need to know. Akron High School business teacher Karen Sally tells me it's a huge plus that the state is having a conversation about getting a personal finance course into all schools. I've been teaching personal finance for 16 years. Um, it's my favorite class to teach because I really feel like the students are able to relate immediately to it in some aspect. The state education commissioner and state controller citing Akron High School as an example in their op-ed piece. Akron started offering a personal finance course in 2016. Two years later, the district made it a graduation requirement. And just listen to how students say they're embracing it. I learned a lot of valuable things I really wouldn't have much reason to learn anyways, like wouldn't be taught through any other way. As much as that is going away, there are still instances where it is useful to be able to write an actual paper check. It's very helpful because I'm the treasurer for our Interact Club here, and the day we learned how to balance our checking account, I had to go do the same thing for the club. And one of the things students learn in this finance course is how to create a personal budget. And we just did a budget for for a young man today where they had to categorize his spending and they did, he tracked his spending for a month and then he, they had to make a plan for his following month. And you know, we just kind of, the entertainment and the food and the, I hear the kids like, oh, my whole paycheck goes to food. In this 20 week course, Akron students also learn about credit cards, saving accounts, tax returns, behavioral economics and digital banking. As much as Sometimes you might think the class is boring or that the information isn't useful. It most certainly is for almost all of it. Even if students aren't engaging with stuff yet, they will be. Recommendations have been sent to the State Board of Regents to make financial literacy a graduation requirement statewide. You may not understand everything at first, but the teachers like Miss Daly helps us learn everything that we want to know and what we need in our actual life. That will help us influence it in our daily jobs or like opening a checking or savings account. Even the basics can be very helpful. You don't have to go a full scale, learn every single detail about personal finance, but even having some of the basics and even just a mild understanding. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Akron.